Hey, everybody. God, my throat's killing me. Hope you guys had a good fourth. If you're in America and you know what that means. If you had a good fourth of July. Good for you. I got burnt. Got band-aids on my fingers now. It's my own fault. Do those dumbass and set off some fireworks. And got burnt. <laughs> Damn near set myself on fire too. Like that was fun. I haven't had that rush of adrenaline, like oh shit, am I gonna die? Type of adrenaline since the last time I drove a four wheeler, and that was a good eight and a half, nine years ago. Because my uncle had put me on a four wheeler and had me driving it at eight years old. <laughs> Oh, sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. I, I really lost my voice last night. And I really, really don't feel good today. I don't know. I just... I know why I'm sick. And it's my own goddamn fault. Like, I didn't do anything stupid like going to like, keyboards or something like that. So, it's this thing. My grandmother had always told me not to bottle up my emotions. To actually talk them out. Because a lot of her family got sick from bottling up their emotions. Like, they'd get tumors or they'd get really, really sick. And all I've done for the last five months is bottle up my emotions and just lie to people about how I actually felt. Especially when Alex would ask me what's wrong, I would just make up some bullshit talking about an old friend. Or something, because I didn't want to tell him how I actually felt. I didn't want to tell anybody how I actually felt. I, I've been really on the edge lately. Like, the last five months, I've just been teetering back and forth on the edge. <coughs> Depending on my mood, whether I was actually going to do something about it or not, I mean, when I was around Alex or any of my other friends, I wasn't really going to do anything. Just you know, be on the edge, not fall off of it. But now that nobody's talking to me anymore, I'm slowly tipping off the edge. And it's not like they're not wanting to talk to me. Well, I know Alex doesn't want to, but that's a personal story. I mean, Amelia hasn't been talking to me. Albert really hasn't been talking to me. None of my other friends have really been talking to me. But, you know, it's... I just chalked it up to, hey, it's summertime. Nobody really wants to be bothered with someone that isn't going to do anything. So... And then I was asking friends, because I have a season pass to go to Darien Lake. And I can bring a friend for free. And I was asking all my friends, and none of them want to be anywhere near me right now. None of them want to be associated with me right now. So, you know, I guess it's a good thing I didn't tell them how I actually felt, because if I did, I'd be hurting now. That's for sure. But the only reason I didn't really talk about my own feelings and how I actually felt and why I cry myself to sleep most nights is because it's really personal stuff. Stuff that I don't like talking about. Stuff that I don't like thinking about but have no choice but to think about. And the only way for someone to actually truly understand what I feel and how I feel about it is if they went through it themselves or if they go through my personal effects like my diary and shit like that unless you go through my shit or go through what I went through you're not going to understand what I'm going through so that's why I bottle that's why I hide I mean it's not like I can vent anymore. I don't really have any 
friends left to vent to because a lot of them are talking to me. And I would try to vent to Alex, but he definitely doesn't want to talk to me. And Amelia is like a hit or miss with this kind of stuff. Sometimes she listens, sometimes she just blows it off. Like, oh, you're just playing around, so. Yeah, so I'll just, you know, be sick from it, because that's what's making me sick. Bottling up my emotions. I actually looked it up. You can get sick from bottling up your own emotions. It can be a tumor, or you can just get very, very, very sick and get hospitalized. So, I mean, writing what I feel is a way of venting, so I been writing a lot more lately. My diary is almost filled actually because I've written so much. But because I choose to bottle instead of vent my emotions, my actual emotions, not the things I tell people like how I actually feel. I'm getting sick because of it. And I haven't been feeling good the last couple of days because of this. I've just felt like nauseous and sick and like I feel like I'm rotting from the inside out to be honest. So I'm just gonna <coughs> try to get a little better, try to get more videos out and most of all, I'm going to try to find someone to vent to because I'm not in counseling anymore. I don't have a therapist anymore to vent to, and none of my friends are going to listen to my problems, so I just got to find something to take it out on. And it's getting pretty bad, too. I've been snapping at my family just... I get so aggravated and I don't know why, I just, out of nowhere, I feel like I'm ready to commit capital murder and just snap. I actually, yesterday was one of those days before I was setting off fireworks and having a good time. I call, I, I was pretty much abusing my cousins and not like physically abusing them, but emotionally abusing my cousins and just being a total dick and just, you know, chasing them around, tacking them to a couple of them to the ground like Zach's in football so I can do that to him and not hurt him. But Anthony's like a good two feet shorter than me and I was like tackling him down the ground too and then I'm just calling all the little most of the little girls they there are they are obnoxious and spoiled and little brats. But the things I called them should not be called to anybody under the age of 15 because you can't be a cock-sucking bitch azoid until you're at least 15 in my book. Because that's when you, like, become the douche. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what's going on with this disaster of a hair today, I didn't brush it because I haven't been feeling good today. I just feel like total shit today. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get better. I'm gonna try to vent a bit to someone that'll listen. But for now, I guess I'll just write because it's not like, you know, any of my friends are gonna listen. It's almost as if I have none anymore. Which, if I didn't, I'd be back to the old me. A lot of people don't know this, but before I got into foster care and before I moved on to the military base, I was actually a really quiet, really soft-spoken person. I didn't make friends. I was always by myself. I didn't really, like, do video games or play outside. I just would sit on the playground by myself, just watching things, just being observant, so, I don't know, but 
but I, for a lot of time, I didn't actually have friends. I just sat there and just thought and thought and thought. So if I don't have any friends, I guess that means I'm back to my old self because that's all I've been doing lately is just thinking and thinking and thinking. And none of these are good thoughts either. They're they're <laughs> they're destructive thoughts. Not like me destroying something, but they're physically breaking me down. I mean, if it wasn't for it being the fourth of July yesterday, I wouldn't have gone outside. Hell, today I haven't left the house. Didn't wake up until twelve thirty. Well, I did. I was just laying in bed, just sitting there. And I've gone dark, so to speak, when it comes to my phone and social media, because, you know, I'm not getting any texts anyway. I'm not getting anybody talking to me. So when I wake up, it's just a bunch of notifications about people liking my posts. It's nobody actually talking to me. Or somebody sharing something. Like, I got one this morning from Niaja. Niaja shared my post. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's whatever. I think I'd like it better if I could just go back to when I was me. And just sat on the playground and didn't really give a fuck. Just sat there not making friends. That if I never would have made any friends, I wouldn't have never gotten hurt. I wouldn't have gotten betrayed by a lot of them, and I wouldn't have, you know, had the courage to even talk to crushes that crush my dreams, you know. I guess it's why they call it a crush, because it physically destroys you. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna get. I'm. I'm gonna try to get healthier, and I'm gonna try to vent. But right now, I have absolutely no motivation to do anything. Not even eat. I. I don't have the motivation to eat anymore. And that can get dangerous because knowing me, I won't eat, and I'll just sit here and starve, not realizing that I'm starving myself because I'm thinking so much. This is why I can't live alone, because if I get into these types of moods, I will end up accidentally killing myself. So, I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to focus on, you know, anything but thinking. Whether it be video games or eating, I'm gonna focus on doing something, anything to get my mind off of the stuff, stuff that I'm on, and I'm willing to try my hardest to vent, because, you know, it's kind of hard to keep the stuff bottled up, because I've almost broken down to Alex a few times when he's asked me, I just, I'm kind of glad I got him off the trail of what was actually going on, like, for instance, for the past year, I've had a stalker, i don't know who he is or if it even is a he, but I've had a stalker and they have shown up, like not physically, but they've popped up around my house a few times and left things outside my bedroom windows. So I'm kind of terrified to find out if they're going to make a move or not. And I just, I never told anybody about half the shit that's been bothering me because I felt it was my problem, not theirs. And anybody that asked, I just threw them off with something, you know, meaningless, like, oh, I'm just not feeling good today, or I'm just tired, or... No, nothing's wrong. I'm just, you know, I'm okay. I just, I'm not okay. I'm just saying something like that. So, I've actually been super mega depressed the last few months. 
from like I want to say January till now I've been super depressed super depressed and I don't even know why I'm depressed I've been taking my antidepressants and everything so I don't know why I'm depressed I'm just no motivation to get about the bed anymore and no motivation to do anything so I'm gonna try to help myself and try to stop just whatever's going on with me I'm gonna try all right thank you guys for being there I know some of you genuinely care man I know Java Cakes cares you're definitely sporadic with your caring too it's really entertaining but anyway thank you guys for being here thank you guys for watching if you like this video thumb it up if you didn't, thumb it down. Tell me why in the comments. God, I destroyed the hell out of this bandit. Look at this. I just like ripped pieces off of this. This is. Anyway, if you want to see more of me, subscribe. Peace.